this is the Outray Quick Weave Batik Bundle Hair. Or it's inspired by the Batik Bundle Hair Dominican Blowout Relax. So, yeah, I'm going to try that out. I saw it on someone else and I thought it was pretty awesome. So, this is a half wig, you guys, not a lace wig. Then I have straightened uh, my own hair. So, yeah, we're going to see. I got it in one B. So, I mean, it comes in a package just like this, of course, with a uh, plastic bag, but I went ahead and took the plastic bag off. So, I'll cut it off and show you the wig cap construction. And it is up to heat safe up to 400 degrees. Standard wig, wig cap construction for a half wig. Half wigs usually have, you know, the one comb there in the front and then the one comb in the back. And it's got the tag there and it does have the adjustable straps as well. Take the net off. This is what honey looks like. I don't know how, how long she is, but I do like her curls. So we're going to see if we can match this up. And I really don't feel like putting any more heat in my hair. So we're going to see how well I can blend this thing. Leg up. So the first thing that I normally do whenever I... Gosh, I haven't done a half wig. A half straight. of the future me but uh i recorded that video and all of that footage the other footage as you will see i recorded that i don't even know how long ago so i so far it looks really cool okay but um i'm going to i have these two pieces out and i am going to run my flat iron through them or curl it or something really quickly just so that you can get the gist of how this goes if you have not enjoyed a half wig so again and then uh the other footage is i made a mistake in the other footage uh what i did is what i don't want you to do so um i decided that night because these pieces here are what are the leave out and so i uh, did it again i left out more leave out than what i should but also i uh, twisted this hair or I might have plaited it and so that made it like crinkly for the next day and I just let it you know just let it be you know let it go let it flow whatever so um, I'm going to reenact what you should do you're gonna need to have some lead out you may not even need as much lead out as I have right here but you are going to need lead out to do different things with your hair and conceal the part that is a halfway so Again, um, the, this is the comb that goes in the very top of your head here, and then um, this comb in the back goes, of course, underneath. And I put a cap on my head. Now, back in the day when I used to wear half wigs, back in college, I don't remember putting a cap on my head. I remember just, you know, pulling out my leave out, whatever I wanted, and then just popping this bad boy on. And do you guys remember when half wigs used to be, um, I think they still make them now, ponytails like I wish that I had a unit that was a ponytail so I'm gonna have to look for that but anyhow so this is what you do you take this comb and um you're not gonna have that flake in your hair <laughs> so you take this comb and right where that part is is where you want to insert the comb so insert push back take your fingers around bring it around now and you just 
secure the comb underneath in the neck of your neck. Now, when I wear half wigs, which I haven't worn in a long time, I don't typically wear a wig grip because honestly, half wigs pretty much stay in place for me. And then you plus you have your own hair on top of that. So I don't typically wear um, a wig grip. So I'm going to run a flat iron really quickly through this hair. perfect that's what I love about half wigs that are curly your curls don't have to be perfect and I have this um, particular flat iron on uh, 380 yeah on 380. all right and then so this last piece I'm just going to curl it going back So again, when I originally installed this one with the pink looking dress, I did not put any heat in my hair. I was able to just go from a previous day wash, um, blow dry and flat iron, and um, that was it. I didn't have to do anything else. It blended so well, a well enough for me. All right, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just do a super do bumper, and then you kind of just finger comb and then you add your edge controls whatever it is that you like um whatever stuff you like and so i'm gonna throw just some edge control in here really quickly i'm not out of edge control a little bit <laughs> So what do 
Papa. <laughs> and you're ready for whatever it is that you have to do. Like, that is just it. And it is amazing. So if you do not have the Outre Quick Weave, Quick Weave, Outre Quick Weave, Bundle Hair, Dominican Blowout, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Um, I will leave the price point in the description box or either I may even put it um, also down below here or up top somewhere. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you all and make sure you saw how it is that I put this on. And then, like, as far as styling, I really don't do much by way of styling this hair if I wear a, a, a half wig. But, you know, some people like to do, you know, they're half up, half down. Sometimes I remember I used to pin it back, you know, or pin it all the way to one side. Wear it to one side, get your little one side action if you want it. But, yeah, that is what we do. So make sure you watch the rest of the video and enjoy yourself, honey. Enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself with me. Then I can show it to you. Enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself with me. Yeah. No one ever like calls when I'm not recording a video. <laughs> so yeah. So I thought about cutting this but I decided not to because my actual hair is almost as long as this so I'm like whatever I don't care who believes it or not I'm out here rocking this thing. Okay this is what I was talking about earlier in the video. Make sure you do not braid your leave out. I would highly suggest just doing a pin curl. Uh, for each side and call it a day. I just left it as is, but yeah, pin curl, call it a day.